morning guys the sun is very much in my eyes as i speak to you right now not a cloud in the sky it's going to get warm that's for sure this is our last full-on day here in orlando universal studios that noise you hear has been specific to this holiday we have heard nothing but sirens i think it's saying about sand lake road there must be a paramedic site or something close to it but that's been a constant for the out of this holiday um, nothing to worry about nothing going on in the parks etc we're going to go here enjoy our last day in our own specific particular way it's been epic it really has we're tired worn out we're getting old we're aging just as much as the parks are nowadays but let's go and have a good time <laughs> you don't get much better welcomes out there apart from SeaWorld and of course your Disney parks. Yeah. Nothing like this compares to what we call home which is obviously the UK. But maybe things are about to change. We're hoping where we're based, we obviously come from Milton Keynes. And the irony of that is we arrived here just after Storm Milton, is the fact that just down the road from us, Bedford, Kempston specifically, Universal Studios has proposed to put their park there. And we're waiting for the final drafts, final information, all looking positive at the moment. Well over 100 acres bought by Universal's Comcast, their parent company and um, they're just freshing out the final detail so we could within say half a decade be experiencing walking into a theme park such as this on a regular basis that is our plan it's pretty much gonna be come here for our holidays which we always will regardless of what comes to Europe this to us is always home but if we do get Universal Studios in the United Kingdom, and it does look more than likely that we will do, then the idea for that will be kind of special events. So we'll do Halloween Horror Nights out there as well as here, the Christmas events, the Valentine's events. Maybe if something new comes up, it'll be weekly updates because it's literally 20 minutes down the road from us. We've even got a train that pulls directly into where the proposed area is. There's Voodoo Donuts right now. We got really, really lucky our first day here because the ball was spinning. It's been intermittently not spinning for a heck of a long time unfortunately and I apologize if I have captured anything in the last little clip you can see the fire department and the paramedics someone has obviously had either an injury or become ill etc just to our left back there never my intention to film anything like that so we hope everything's okay and it hasn't spoiled a vacation for those. start our morning with a breakfast out here so this is a regular for us the today calf as said before in previous vlogs this used to be a bakery here which used to serve offerings from the cheesecake factory Scooby and Scooby's big brother over there getting photographs with loads of people Daphne and Thelma there today with Shaggy, Fred, Scooby of course himself 
And if you look in the distance over there, they've actually parked out the mystery machine today. It's not always out when Halloween Horror Nights is about. I guess it just takes up so much room. I did own one years and years ago. I had a Ford, a Connor line. It was like a super cargo one. It was, it'd only go about 80 mile an hour, but it'd go 80 mile an hour through a house. So breakfast coffee has been procured. We also have a blueberry muffin. And then I've gone for something I specifically go for generally when we're in Epcot, sunshine seasons, which is the overnight oats. So it's very much like a cold porridge, to be honest with you. And it's got a nice coconut, oat, coconut flakes, strawberries, blueberries, and almonds. Really is tasty. There she is, and she's a real beaut. Must admit, I would love to own another one. Sadly, no longer with us, Olivia Newton John, Kirk Douglas, Linda Evans. Sometimes you can just chill out around these parks and walk along. John Forsyth, there is a video that he produced here back in. I believe it was like 1995, Ride the Movies, you used to be able to purchase it in the stores. You can probably get it on Amazon or eBay, or even probably on YouTube, it's out there. It's one of those ones that's definitely worth a watch. It inspired me many years ago. But today is gonna to be about Chilling out, people watching, getting on the odd ride, doesn't matter if we get on them all. Specific favourites, ET is a must. We still have to finish off our competition, a villain con. Rachel is leading 3 2 in the series so far, it's been neck and neck. Um, our next ride on it, if she wins, she'll win the series, or we might go to a sudden death if I force a tie. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. Of course, with the temperatures late on this afternoon, getting up to, they say 86, so with a real feel, it's gonna make it in the early 90s. It's gonna be a scorcher, guys. And there's a hamper on it all. We have some cloud. That there is your Hogwarts Express making its way to Hogwarts, of course, from King's Cross Station. It is actually a moving train your scenery takes place inside each carriage and that's a, a cool way of going between the two parks because obviously you've got Hogwarts in Island of Adventure and here in Universal Studios tucked away at the back is Diagon Alley in fact if I loop over here you'll see the bottom end of King's Cross Station, you can see the dragon just peering out over the top. He or she is just a little tiddler, tiny little lizard, little gecko, or as some of them say here, geico. Predominantly to do with a car insurance company. I simply love them. You know it's a hot day, or gonna be a hot day in the parks when they've already got the steamers on. This can be quite refreshing, but that only lasts a couple of seconds. Then you're back to the intense heat. Of course, the best you can do is get in a store for the AC. 
10 minute wait for ET, you cannot argue with that. This can get up to an hour and 20 minutes easily. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the ET adventure. But I'm afraid we don't have much time, so I'm gonna cut right to the chase. ET needs your help. Now, we've just received an urgent message from ET's teacher, Botanicus, calling for ET to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on ET's home world, the green planet. ET's friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what ET's friends look like, because it's gonna be up to you to help ET find them once we get them home. And there's not a moment to lose, because only ET's magic healing touch can save his friends and bring his planet back to health. ET must go home, and only you can help him. Amen. Ah, E.T. Trouble. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're going to get you back to the green planet? You and E.T. will be making your three million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants, and we'll give you your pass. Oh, sounds like ET's ready to go. So good luck, everyone. Remember, ET's counting on you, and so am I. What's your name? Rob. Thank you. What's Thank you. Name? I tell you what, I just wish walking in the woods back home was like this. I cannot be the only person out there that has always wanted one of these as a souvenir. I've asked many times, but you just can't get them, and you have to hand them in as you get on the right. toy from the 80s and used significantly in the film in the old speaking spell right there It's a cool, gentle ride. And anyway, guys, I'll put the camera away now and leave the final words from this ride to E.T. himself. I'll be right here. And right there starts the heartbreak that ensues for the rest of the day. If you know, you know, it's really hard. <laughs> but we're still here. We've still got, oh, best part of seven, eight hours. Good. 
time for a bit of twirl and hurl. Kitty's right basically, but it's pretty cold. Pretty horrible out in the heat, mind you. Right, the good thing about this, you do get an element of height as we circle around. We are, to be honest with you, a bit big for this ride, but who cares? We're in Orlando. We're having fun. Quickie Mart there. Simpsons ride. This is Twirl and Hurl. Duff beer. People queuing up over there by the the sign to get their picture taken. That's actually pretty funny, that is. It might be over the back there. There's King's Cross. Be it kind of feels like we're getting another spell of humidity. This, of course, will be the last of it for the year if it is about. But we go home tomorrow, so it's not going to affect us. But it's the kind of thing that you can only turn around and describe it as ladies out there with long hair all of a sudden feel like Chewbacca. He just freezes up as soon as you step out inside it. Shares Alcatraz. Home to the ocean of track. I'm pretty sure we'll be trying it later. Last chance this holiday. It will knock our heads off, but it's worth it. But I've got to say hello and goodbye again on my holiday to my old friend Bruce. Here's my buddy Bruce. He's a 20 footer, some say 25, but I love this guy to bits. My favorite film of all time. Hey buddy, how are ya? Always give him a kiss and a cuddle. Don't want to stick a head in there too much. But for years and years, I have loved this character, this movie, this franchise. It's everything to me. I'm gonna miss ya, but I'm gonna see you again next October. Love you, pal. See you soon. So come on in, tell us what you're doing, what you're... Oh no, how's my hair, first of all? <laughs> oh, yes. it looks cool, it looks cool. I, I combed it like three days ago, so I figured it might be okay. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Today's my first day. I'm recording. I'm a little nervous. What even goes in ocean attack? I don't even know. I'm holding a blue bottle. Let's put blue in there. Sure. It works. That's the next bottle I grab. So coconut something. So it's a lot Malibu. For better? Yeah. Worse? I don't know. More coconut something? Go on then. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Um... <laughs> Gin? No. No, 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 no. Whatever this yellow liquid is. Coke? Coke. No. Bubbles? We like bubbles. Oh, yeah. We like bubbles, yeah. Now what do I do? I guess mix it up. Go on then. Wow. Look at that. I guess it looks like ocean water, right? <laughs> I guess I should put something on top, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a good idea. Like some green olives? <laughs> no. Oh, that would be awful. What about a, a duck? Oh, a duck? That's so cute. He's my emotional support duck. He's helped me through my first day, you know. Oh. Show me the ropes around here. So? Um, what about these things are? Hey. 
one of these, one of these, one of these. Do we have another cherry? Um, no, but you can have one of these. Oh! Shark in the water coming in for a nibble. No, he's gonna take a nice little bite out of you. Chop, chop, chop. No, leave the ducky. Ah! Oh, he didn't stand a chance. Poor fella. Poor fella. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. 1651. Worth every dollar. Not that we remember it after we've drunk it. Remember what? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty. You can't drink the profits. What? <laughs> it's printed out. Yeah, it's slow. That there ocean attack is one beast of a drink. And Rachel's just turned up with a Jaws candy bar. Okay. Into Diagon Alley. Everybody waiting for the dragon, the brief fire. to the depths, the bowels of Diagon Alley, these back passageways, you will find all sorts of haunts lurking, people get out their wands and produce magic tricks. good thing about the Canon G7X is it gives off a good backlight so whereas this is virtually pitch black you do kind of get a little bit more brightness of course it doesn't stop you bumping into people turn around and say that it appears the old singing heads that are formed together like Bohemian Rhapsody down here are either removed or inoperational because they certainly weren't about. Just going to kind of do a lap around. You get your butter beer from over there as well as stands at a sort of rocked up everywhere said before we remember four specific types your original butter beer your frozen butter beer which the verdict's out which one's the best out of those two then of course you've got an ice cream butter beer and what is nice when the weather is a bit cooler is the warm butter beer which tastes reminiscent to custard but the theming is on spec, as you'd expect out here. It's clever that all this has pretty much come out of the mind of someone in a book. Yeah, we have of course been down what they loosely based Diagon Alley on in one of the streets in York. Our friend the dragon again. Escape from Gringotts. 50 minutes, it's not bad round here. A lot of these rides on the Harry Potter side can carry huge queue lengths. There is a huge fascination for this. I will admit that much. We 
we've turned around and said in the past that sort of you're either Harry Potter world and Universal or Star Wars and Disney. For us, it's the latter. One thing I've only just realised about the DeLorean is the timeline in there, the middle line, is actually today's date. to do battle again with this one right here currently winning 3-2 in the series I don't know what it is about this ride you seem to have got the knack of it if it's Buzz Lightyear I can wipe the floor we're pretty much level on MIB have a shoot em up games we are very close but this one Rach for some reason has the edge 3-2 in the series if she wins this one she wins overall. If I somehow miraculously manage to get a win, we either go for a tie or a sudden death. Okay, the game ended with me winning by a few hundred and we've decided to call it a tie for the holiday. So, happy days with that. Just, just, just. I was panicking for a moment then. I do not like losing on these sort of games, but I pulled it out of the bag at the last, <laughs> and we end up with a tie, which is pretty good for long. Rach wanted to meet Bumblebee, so now she's done fantastically well in the shooting arcade game. It's been pretty cool. <laughs> It's a real pleasure to meet you, buddy. How cool is that? Brilliant, thank Lovely. you. Thank, thank you, Bumblebee. You. If there's such a thing as reincarnation, I'm coming back as a duck, just so I can fly out here to these theme parks.
where do you even start? This has been an immense 10 day holiday. We fulfilled our dreams of everything we wanted to do on this short mini break. We didn't do Disney this time. Um, it wasn't an option to be honest with you. Everything was, as I said before we started this, we stumbled across the finish line. My circumstances changed, a new job come up, so we managed to get a last minute job um, vacation over here. And it was a real bargain, it really was. Um, can't fault the hotel, that was good. It's not in our preferred location, of course. We prefer Lake Buena Vista, but we was happy with it. It was secure, it was safe. It was comfortable. Um, we done Sea World. That was immense. We've been here. We've been Island of Adventures. We've done a bit of shopping, and it just sort of it was good to feel like we do here in our hearts. Is this is home? And um, with that, thank you so much. The hardest part goes through the gates. That's why we're doing this this year because every tear is rolling down. Our face. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the movies. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.